Hello and welcome to today's ADHD Awareness LinkedIn Live and I am Stephanie. Uh, we won't have Alex today unfortunately but we are still going to be talking about managing energy because let's face it us ADHDs do not do a very good job of it particularly when we are left to our own devices. We always tend to get in our own way and there are many reasons for that. So just to get started there's one phrase we use in coaching quite a bit and it's that you cannot manage what you don't measure. ADHDs are not very good at measuring, again, for many reasons. And the problem is, is that we certainly do not tend to measure or monitor our energy levels. And there are lots of reasons for that. Uh, our metric tends to be, well, if it needs to be done, we can do it, right? Um, you wouldn't believe how many uh, ADHDs think that they can do something, really believe that they can do that thing. And then when it comes to the thing itself, they realize, actually, I really can't do that thing. Happens a lot with the kids as well. And it's, it's that belief in that kind of now versus not now. You know, in any particular moment, we can do these things. Uh, it's called unmitigated optimism. And again, it doesn't do us any favors because if you add our fear of missing out, our fear of losing interest together with our natural hyperactivity, our time blindness, lack of planning, our rejection sensitive dysphoria, which you know really kind of propels us to do a lot more to please others. You know, if you add all of that up, you do have a lot of issues as an ADHD -er with preserving your energy. It just doesn't happen. And that's why we are so prone to burning out. So many of us burn out because we aren't, we aren't kind of clear about our capacity. We're not looking through that ADHD lens. We're not setting boundaries. We're not getting out of our own way. There's that need to always be achieving, right? There's a need to always be meeting everyone else's needs when actually there is a greater need, a more important need to be able to protect ourselves, our energy, conserve our energy, to get things in perspective, to take context into account. Again, things that ADHD is really struggle with. So ADHD, right, it stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder. Again, we've talked about it hopefully by now. Now we are in our final week of ADHD Awareness Month that if you've been tuning into the lives, you will see that it very much can be the opposite of a disorder in certain situations, right? Uh, because that uh, attention deficit, it can be a little bit of a misleading term because if anything, ADHD is have a surplus of attention. And that's something that Dr. Hallowell pointed out, uh, as you know, is one of our ADHD heroes. And this surplus of energy, um, a surplus of attention, all the ideas, the things we get excited by, they very much make us burn up that energy right? Um, we ADHDs will go until we cannot go any longer. We ADHDs will tolerate a lot more than we should. So uh, whether that's, you know, uh, things like our own health, right? And we keep going because there's a need or it's too boring to kind of sit it out and rest. We're not very good at resting, which is another thing that kind of lack of interest, that fear of losing interest um, is enough for us to kind of ignore our own bodily needs and our health, and we just kind of keep pushing it. Our anxiety, our overwhelm, that need to uh, reduce our overwhelm, we feel that by keep going, by spending more energy on getting things done, that once we get those things done, right, reduce that overwhelm, reduce that anxiety, then we can stop, then we can rest or spend time with friends, then we can recoup the energy lost. Now, the problem with that is that the to-do list is never ending. There's always things that come along our plate. And so we never get to that uh, time. It's, it's the metric we're setting. Uh, and that's why I started with that uh, saying that you can't manage what you don't measure is because today it's about for ADHD is the message is what metric, what metric are you using? right? Um, in terms of the things that you're trying to achieve, in terms of when you will stop, when you will take that rest. Because usually we're not setting any metric at all, or it's it's a metric that's that's set without that ADHD lens. You know, with the ADHD, we're definitely more prone to burning a lot more energy, a lot more quickly than our neurotypical peers. And it always ends up in us burning it out. 
it always ends up in us maybe not having the presence that as parents we want to have with our children you know we're not there for them and you know that it just kind of increases our guilt and further pushes us on to do even more and spend that energy and, and do for others it's it's a vicious cycle so we want to help you break that cycle and we do believe that when you know better you do better so hopefully now that you've got more of an ADHD lens on the things that will get you to spend this energy in a way that you cannot afford to that once we know better become more aware we're more able to be vigilant about these things and and help get ourselves out of our own way Again, not easy to do by yourself, which is why ADHD coaching is, is so beneficial for ADHDs because it, it very much creates space, right? Again, to have energy, you need to create space, which us ADHDs do not usually do on our own, but coaching kind of forces that space, right? Again, um, with the consent, obviously, of the coachee, of the ADHD, but it's a space that's carved out for the ADHD to check in, check in with themselves, check in with their energy levels, their emotions, because quite often we'll be telling ourselves we are fine because we have to be. Like, what choice do we have, right? Things need to be done. So we have this narrative of we are fine. And again, that's not going to do anything towards preserving your energy. So it's about really checking in and kind of digging under that uh, that bonnet and and working out and authentically how am i honestly feeling and again not easy for adhd is to get back into their bodies we're so much up here it's all happening up here really hard for us to get back into our bodies and, and check how am i feeling because that should be the metric in terms of what you set yourself for that day what you spend your energy on it may be that that particular day um, you're not very feeling very good at all. Maybe you're ruminating, maybe you're very anxious or overwhelmed, but if you don't pause, create space to check in and work out how you're feeling, then you can't set the metric, the right metric in terms of what can I do today? How is my energy best spent? Because for us, ADHD is everything. If it's outstanding needs to be done, it's all kind of equal importance, which is not accurate, right? And it only adds to our anxiety. So it's about creating space to get perspective, you know, to check in with yourself, to get perspective in order to be able to make sure that you're applying energy to the things that should be prioritized or need to be prioritized. And so that can really only happen if you take the time to process and pinpoint these things, which again, an ADHD is not really going to do on their own. So that's what us ADHD coaches are for. And we're hoping that through these LinkedIn Lives, and indeed, the ADHD Coaching Summit that we will be holding on Monday and Tuesday next week. So that's from 4 to 8 p.m. on Monday. We're going to be um, speaking with some of our referral partners and clients and, and other coaches to share their experiences of coaching, ADHD coaching for families and in the academic world. Uh, so that's the Monday and the Tuesday. We'll be focusing on the workplace and uh, small business and leadership so definitely worth putting in your diaries. There will be a link that we will send around in typical ADHD fashion. We are still finalizing details. I'm going to be completely transparent here. This is what we did with ADHD Awareness Month last month. We managed to be more on top of it this year. And I'm hoping it will be the same for the UK's first ever ADHD Coaching Summit, which we're really proud, really, really proud to host um, Monday and Tuesday next week. And we've got the privilege of getting David Gawork, who's the founder of ADCA, um, so ADHD Coaching Academy that trained us ADHD coaches. He will be opening the UK's first ever ADHD Coaching Summit. So it's a real exciting opportunity and, and privilege to have him open up what will be hopefully a very informative, insightful series of talks and, and panels that will help you better understand the role that ADHD coaching plays in not only helping ADHDs resolve their challenges, but helping them fulfill their often really impressive potential. So do join us and we'll provide the details. But uh, I hope that uh, today, you got the message loud and clear. Us ADHDs, ADHDs, you do not have infinite amount of resources and energy. It's finite, right? And we need to make it visible. And we need to 
you know, confront ourselves. Again, not easy to do. So if you do want to look at HD coaching, check out our website and book a free intro call with one of our coaches. Otherwise, be kind to yourselves and have a great day. And we will see you again on tomorrow's LinkedIn Live at 1 p.m.